four and one three straight weeks in a row, that means what? Consistency. Consistency. Yeah. And we talk about great teams in college football. They're consistent week in and week oh, out. Yeah. And I have some consistent Get to your teams picks. I want to hear all that. The consistent team is West Virginia. I think Rich Rodriguez consistently number one <laughs> running the football. They get it done over Louisville. Nebraska, eh, a little inconsistent, but they're going to beat Missouri <laughs> because they're playing at home. And especially after last week, I think they win the Big 12 North. Tennessee over LSU. Consistency. LSU cannot win on the road. They're I'm not consistent on the road. You got a theme <laughs> yeah, here? Yeah, I do. I get I like it. Tennessee. <laughs> Boston College over Wake Forest. Wake Forest, all oh, they've done such a nice job. I can't. No consistency there. I think Boston College. And Texas A&M over Oklahoma. Too many injuries at Oklahoma. And Brian Jones said early in the show he didn't like Dennis Franchoni. And I feel bad for Dennis Franchoni. He's had a terrific job of bringing his team back. Not quite consistently all the way there, but pretty close consistently all the way there. Wow. <laughs> Trev, that's just a heck of a way to pick games. West Virginia <laughs> over Louisville, I think because of the rushing game, but they'll actually score some TDs in the air. Nebraska over Missouri, I think we're slowly starting to see what kind of team Missouri actually has. LSU is going to go on the road and beat Tennessee. I've been really impressed with Jamarcus Russell in the LSU defense this year. LSU wins that game. Boston College over Wake Forest, besides having a great graduation rate, they seem to keep winning games this year. <laughs> and Oklahoma, Trev, will beat Texas A&M, not because of their coach, but because they've been pretty good without Rhett Bomar and Paul Thompson. All right, this is all about physicality -ness, right? This first ball game, Louisville over West Virginia. Isn't that the word you used earlier? physicality Woo, That's a mouthful. Hey, West Virginia is going down because you got a pretty good rush defense there at Louisville. And plus, you called them soft, Trev. So, I you know, your face is all over the rolling. bulletin board. Did Nebraska not. beats Missouri. Missouri, too many mistakes in the last couple of weeks. Could have beaten Oklahoma, but too many mistakes in that ball game. LSU finally gets a road win. It's about time. What is it, ninth week of the season? Get your road win down there. LS who? All right, Boston College <laughs> over Wake Forest. Wake Forest, a f phenomenal year thus far. You're going down Oklahoma over Texas A&M. I wish both of these teams could lose, but I have to pick one. Oklahoma wins that game. Oh, okay. Now I'm ready to go. You guys got me all warmed up. <laughs> Brian Brown brings the cards back from 11 to start the fourth quarter. Louisville uses home field advantage to beat West Virginia 30-27. Nebraska needs a spark. They should, like, honor Trev at halftime or something. Since nothing is planned, Missouri wins on the road. <laughs> LSU's defense is great against the pass, which is all Tennessee can do right now. Tigers win in Knoxville. Wake Forest will be forced to wake up. The dream is over. BC wins. And I'm going with four road teams this week, which explains where I stand in the standings. Oklahoma will beat the most overrated 8-1 team in America. Texas A&M falls at home. <laughs>